Hey there, Ramon here from CodeC, and I didn't see you come in. I was just working on a code base map for an open source project, the OSS port. Now, what I'm doing here is making a map showing folks what the general code ownership looks like, and this is just an example. I'm going to have two labels here. One is going to be for core maintainers, and the other one is going to be for project maintainers. And what I'm going to do is use CodeC maps to show folks who owns what in this project. I'm just going to color all of these accordingly. Now you're going to see here that the vast majority of the code base is generally owned by the maintainers, whereas the projects folder itself, where folks are going to be able to put up their projects on the port itself, is going to be co-owned by project maintainers. I'm just going to rename that and call it OSS port ownership map. I'm going to go ahead and save that. With that now saved, I'm going to set it to be public. I can now copy this link and put it into my documentation for the world to see. And that's how easy it is to make a map. In this video, I'm going to show you lots of different ideas for different kinds of maps you can make for your code base, because you can have several maps for a single code base that serve different purposes. For example, this one here is the code ownership map, but here's one, for example, that shows what are the areas of Gatsby development that one can contribute to. You've got reusable components, static content, dynamic pages, TypeScript specific stuff, static resources, and good old other. <laughs> Another type of map you can have is an areas of concern map. I kept this one simple, just showing labels for where the source and the projects are, as well as where the documentation and project setup goes. Finally, and here's the more elaborate map, what an onboarding experience would look like for a new contributor. You can even have a tour. Check it out. Showing you each step of the way how to get started with this code base. And that's just some ideas. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching.